good morning postmaster and fellow guest so when i like i have heard babes multiple time given given topic and i always wonder like these people like uh, babes with the so much experience and he's so good at speaking and why he joining postmaster that uh, came to my mind but on the second thing i think like the the reason the people like babes are joining postmaster or gtmc is what makes it great and it is the reason that it is a learning experience for me and i look up to it so today babes will be giving his uh ice breaker and uh, like i would like to congratulate him and i look forward to more speeches from him in future and like uh, best of luck for today yeah, sorry okay i'll pass it to you first of all Welcome, Bhavish. Uh, wisdom, Bhavish. Wow, it's great to be here. Hello, everyone. So this is a true story from around eight, ten years back. I would say. Um, the streets. There was this house where I used to live. There was a main road across that that house. which was always uh, bustling with traffic and there was another lane in which my house was my house was it was called a house uh that was one particular day relatively eased up in comparison something amazing happened that day something amazing happened that day scene number 1 There was this family of four who were walking from the other end of the street, from the other end of the lane, towards the main road, possibly to rush towards their house before it gets dark. And um, this family of four had uh, a young boy and his sister. Uh, the parents were rushing and pulling, dragging the kids so as to keep up with the pace with which they were walking. This young boy had. a balloon in his hand like that and while he was walking fast he was just excited to have this balloon he was just you know swinging it around here playing around with it must be like 4 or 5 years old and i remember um there was this one particular moment when um he was attending to what his sister was saying because she assured something and while at the same very time his mother yelled at him scolded him for running faster because he was they were getting late a particular moment happened when this balloon slipped from his hands from the tight grips of uh, his hands and it flew away he saw it slipping away he wanted to catch hold of it but he could not because of the speed of course Scene number two. There was this another young boy, possibly eleven, twelve years old. He was riding a bicycle on the main road. Don't know what happened. He suddenly took a turn to the lane on the left, and he crossed paths with a balloon that was flying in midair. He went ahead a little, maybe ten, twelve meters. He came back again, grabbed the balloon, put his hand back onto the handles of his bicycle, and. Took a U-turn again, and then he rushed back into the same direction he was intending to originally. Scene number three. There was this young man who was standing on the second floor balcony of his house, maybe lost in the depths of his own thinking. He was perplexed with what was happening in his life, or possibly what was not happening in his life. He was completely into his deep thoughts. he was looking everywhere but not focusing on anything so his eyes were open but he was not looking can you imagine that now a miracle happened that day something he just saw that instance what happened and an understanding dawned upon him he just understood he did not understand what he understood but he did that finishes this the scene i would like to extend this story so as to see this young boy who had the balloon originally 
what would he have told his friends and family when he would have gone back home? Today I lost something that was very dear to me, that I wanted to possess, that I wanted to keep with me, but I could not. Life is so unfair and injustice is there everywhere for people like us. Had we not been on streets, I would have not lost my balloon. I would also want to talk about this young boy who was riding the bicycle. What would he have said to his parents, his, fam his friends, his family? Today, I found a balloon that was flying in the mid-air, waiting for me to catch hold of. God wanted me to have this. Like it, life is full of promises. It is so fair. It is so hopeful. It is an optimistic view to look at the light. There's another young man, which was me, who was, second, who was standing on the second floor balcony. What would he be saying to his friends, his family, which is you guys at this point of time? Life is all harmonious and all balancing. It gives you wisdom. It guides you when you're not looking for it. If you are deeply buried in the sorrows and pains of life, you're not going to get that wisdom. But, and also you're not going to get that wisdom when you're elated in the successes, in, you know, when you're drawn in the success, uh, if you're drunken in the, in the arena of success. When you take a step back and when you look at experiences from a third person's perspective, that is when you get the wisdom. And I would, would, like, I would like to leave you with this question. If you were to leave, if you were to take a few steps back, few many steps back, and you look at an experience or many experiences through the universal point of view with no perspective at all what you get is true enlightenment thank you very much